our continuing coverage, a man living near Powers Boulevard reaching out to News 5 saying panhandlers are using the highway's median and the city hasn't tried to stop it. News 5's Jessica Bridal caught up with that guy, also reached out to the city for answers. Uh, Jessica in studio, so what are they telling you? Well, in short, they told me they're working with CDOT to place signs that read unlawful to occupy median along Powers Boulevard. They hope to deter panhandlers for the same reason Ryan Jones does, to prevent people from getting hurt. It's really unlawful and it's unsafe to be there. Ryan Jones told me that a city ordinance passed in 2017 to ban pedestrians from occupying medians less than four feet in diameter with speed limits higher than 30 miles per hour should be enforced here along Powers Boulevard. The missing element, a sign like this, indicating it's unlawful to occupy the median. Why don't we prevent this from happening in the first place? Like stop, you know, reacting and pretending like, oh, how are we going to do anything when the answer is right in front of you, you just got to do it. The city says without a sign, it's impossible to enforce the ban and ticket people, but they're working on it. I got in touch with the city's traffic engineer and uh, I, I did get some good news. I mean, she said she would look into it. The city's traffic engineer sent over a statement which says in part, pedestrian safety is important to them and they're working with CDOT to make it happen. Since Powers Boulevard is a state highway, CDOT needs to give the green light. Jones agrees once this gets enforced, pedestrians will be a lot safer. It is a safety issue and even though it's not my safety, yes, I am concerned about other people that are really close a few feet away from cars that could kill them. And he says it can also be an eyesore. It's something that I don't think we want to see in our city. Uh, people standing on medians, um, I wish they would get help in other ways. He hopes to start seeing change soon. Some of this is proactive measures to uh, prevent bad things from happening and uh, make our city a nicer spot. The city of Colorado Springs says you could start seeing those signs pop up along Powers Boulevard within the next month. Always watching out for you, Colorado Springs, Jessica Barreto, News 5.